The way we do it when we back into the spot is we look into the empty spot that we're going to and then we take the deer, gore, deer guard of the truck up two spots to the farther side of the second spot. So there's one spot, two spots. Once the deer guard's in line with the line from the second spot past the second spot, you hit it all the way right. Then you go up till you pretty much run out of room and then you hit it all the way left and bring the truck to the left side of the trailer. Whenever you're doing this, you actually pull the back of the trailer. What you want to do is pull the back of the trailer past the spot that you're going to. That way you have a lot of extra room to, to work it into that spot. And then you, the rest of the time you go around the white line and straight down it trying to keep a one foot from this line. If you're one foot from this line, you will not hit the other side. The other side you cannot see in the truck because the truck's going to be bent. It's going to be on the side of the trailer. Now we're trying to get the back of the trailer close to the spot we're going to. He's going to look into his spot. He's going to go two spots up. That's one. And to the far side. That's two. All the way right. And he's going to go all the way right until he's running out of room in the front up here. And then he's going to hit all the way left. All the way left. All the way left is what he's doing. He can't hear me right now. I'm kind of far from the truck. Until he's past the spot he's going to. And that's what gets you that good 45 degree angle at the spot that you're going into. Now his goal is to go around the line and down it. So he's going to turn his wheel straight so he can see what the trailer's doing. That When you turn the wheel straight, you start to see how the trailer's moving to the left or the right. You know, how fast it's going, stuff like that. And the next goal is to go down that line on the ground. So we want to go around it and down it. And we want to keep about a foot from it. But we want to keep it close to this side because we can't see the other side. And it's okay to go on top of it, just some, if you need to, because there's no truck there. What, we're, what we don't want to hit is no vehicle, so I'm okay with them going on top of it to find the line. Now he needs to start curving it in more. That way we can start going down the line. It's kind of walking away from the line. See how the line's straight and the trailer's not parallel to it? So he curved it in some more. Now it's starting to walk down the line some, so it's time for him to start getting in front of the trailer. And he's getting in front of the trailer. And then he needs to go straight down that line. If he can get that trailer to stay parallel to that line, two parallel lines will never hit each other. So he's trying to get it parallel to that line. And then he just got to keep everything straight. Because he kept it so close to the driver's side he has all this room over here and that's how you back into a spa right there that's how you do it you want to get the back of the truck as close as you can to the spot that you're going to get the back of the truck as close as you can to the spot you're going to he looks in his spot goes up two spots it's the all the way right. So we're going all the way right. Until he runs out of room in the front. And then he's going to hit all the way left. When we hit the all the way left, we're back and we're pulling up all the way left until the back of the trailer is past the spot that we're going to. So it gets you at that nice 45 degree angle to the spot. And then he's going to turn his wheel straight. And then he should be able to walk it right into the spot. So we're going to the back of the trailer. And we're going to watch him walk it into the back of the spot. 
we turn the opposite way we need the back of the trailer to go and he's just doing about an eighth of a turn he's trying to go around the line around the white line and down it right here he's put too much of a bend in it so it's he's fighting moving it over and he's not going around the line so he's going to need to pull up So he's going to need to pull up because he curved it in too much right here. We need to go around the line and down it about a foot from the line. So he's pulling up. Now he's going to try to go around the line and down it. He's actually going to have to go through it because of the angle that he created right here. But that's okay because there's no truck right here that he's going to hit. Nothing like that. So he has that extra room. And he's going to be real close to this trailer, which, or not real close, but he's going to be pretty close to it. And now all he's trying to do is get the back of that trailer go down that line. So he's curving it in more, curving it in more. The side of that trailer is walking around that line. It would be nice if he wasn't so close to the line, but is he still in the line? Yes. Don't be scared to pull up out here. If you need to pull up, pull up. So at this time, it's another pull up because I don't want him to go over the line. So he's going to pull up, and then he's going to re-straight line back it in here. And what he did wrong here is he did not use all the room he had up there to pull up. Remember, the more, further you pull up, the better you can fix this. So now we're going down the line. So we're taking the back of the trailer straight down the line. Remember, the closer we are to this side is the more room we're going to have on the other side. And look at that. Not a whole lot of room on this side. We definitely have room on this side. That's how you back into a spot right there. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to add me down as your referral on your application. That's C-O-X-D-J-O. C-O-X-D-J-O. Also, if you need to get a hold of me, drop me a text or call me at 417-894-8089.